Hello G Nation, time for another character preview. This time it's going to be Roddy Piper, Icons of WrestleMania, and he's a trickster. Now again, this is going to be a basic version of him, only using common trainers, no coaches, no belts, no medals, no plates, no whatever else, keeping it basic. If you have a look at his ability as a promoter at 21k, technicians only earn 30% more best of 2021 faction boss competition points from battle. Links, you should have one with icons of WrestleMania. All right, so he's a, he looks kind of he actually looks good. Let's uh, first first move set we'll have a look at is the wind up punch. The 11 MP purple move finisher deals 107.5k plus 23k bonus damage for every bot gem and pin the opponent. The inverted atomic drop 5 MP purple move deal 38.6k damage and make 12 random gems into bot gems. And the belly to back suplex 8 MP black move deal 60.3k damage and make 8 random gems into purple gems. Now for that we'll use Bray, so we start with more black, and then we'll use Arn Anderson to create nine extra bot gem. Now Arn Anderson was definitely a freak actor many years ago. Uh, if you're a newer player and you didn't get him, uh, your option is pretty much Bret Hart uh, that generates bot gem. And is there another one? Let me double check. I know Bret Hart Tech is one of them. Didn't they add one recently? Yeah, uh, Stevie Ray also makes botch gems too. So those are your two options if you don't have Arn Anderson. Now if I was to add coaches, I would probably add Shayna Baszler and uh, also Triple H Blue Blood, both adding 15% damage to botch gem. So they would boost the finisher by 30% combined. Uh, as far as a plate, in this case, you pretty much have two options. There's the Eternal Positivity, which is whenever you break three black, you get three purple. Unfortunately, we would kind of want the other way around. Like, I, you would want it that whenever you get three purple, get three black. So not that useful. I mean, it's better than nothing, but black is not what you'll be making purple is. Uh, you, you, the only reason you're going to be making black is if you don't get it any other way and then you're getting purple but you would already get your purple with the black move so not the best plate would be great if it worked the other way what i would use instead would be this one the dx army assault since they work now whenever you break three or more purple make seven greens into black at the end of your turn so You'll be making the purple anyway with the move. This way you're going to be converting seven greens into black. They might match and give you your MP. If they don't match, they may give you at least matches that you'll be able to do the next turn. So this one would probably be what I would be using. Right. Let's try this. Versus Piper himself. my energy drink it's 4 30 a.m and i'm still doing that and i haven't got to bed yet all right so now we're going to be making eight randoms into purple hopefully we're going to get two matches all right we got one that still works we're going to make 21 into botch I'll take back some purple here. Now we're going to make another batch of 21. We got like 42 on the board right now. Pretty much. Actually, how many don't we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11. That means we got four, uh, We got 38 on the board. I got to calculate how much that's going to be because we're not going to see it. 
We got 38 times 23096 plus 88028. That means we're gonna do 966,000 damage. Wow! That did it. I mean, even if he had more health than that, almost the entire board was botch gem, which means that he would have a pretty hard time to get out of it, even if he had more LP, HP. So, yeah, I like that one. Let's uh, look at something else now. All right, second move set we're gonna have a look at is a small variation of what we just tried, which could be an option for those of you that don't have a botch gem trainer. So we're basically replacing the move that makes the botch gem by the low blow, which is a seven MP black move, deal 50K damage and choose seven gems to make into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deals 47.9K damage and gain two black MP. If broken by you, deal zero damage and make five random gems into botch gems. That's basically another way to get those botch gems. Rest remains the same. As far as trainers, uh, we're keeping Bray to get those blacks going, but I replaced Arn by uh, Jinder here, which will create three extra trap, making 10 instead of seven. Uh, another option you could have here uh, instead of Jinder could be Seamus, regular trickster Seamus. Uh, he adds 35% damage to botch gem, so he would boost the damage for the finisher. I kind of like Jinder because that's more traps is more chance to break traps or in breaking traps. So let's try this one. So we'll start by putting the traps. gonna go for those Just like that All right and now I'm gonna generate my purple hoping that it ends up landing on some of those traps or not Oh my god, we had a board shuffle and it didn't blast our ears. Oh, that was great. That's the best bug face ever. We got our purple now. Unfortunately, there's not that many left. We'll use the finisher. I mean, it still ended up doing 400k. And he actually took more damage during the pin because he broke traps and those traps if you remember they were doing like 50k each so he, he did what he had left and held he got it while breaking the <laughs> while breaking the traps so yeah that definitely works too i kind of like the first one better because it's kind of more reliable but this works all right let's look at the third one 
All right, completely different move set this time around. Not too sure about this one. We'll see how it does. It's gonna be the jumping I knee, five MP red move, deal 48.8K damage and choose one column to destroy. The sleeper hold, eight MP red move, submission generate 28 random submission gems and do 30.5K damage for five turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into botch gems and the bulldog, 7 MP purple move, deal 39.3k damage, and destroy 7 random red gems. Trainers for that, we're going to use Butch and Xavier Woods, so that we start with more red and more purple. The reason for it, like, you could boost the submission, whether the amount of turn or the amount of damage that it does, but, I mean, if you boost the damage, it's really not going to do that much of a difference. And if you boost the length of the submission, you're pretty much hurting yourself because you want those sub gems to remain there as botch. So you don't want it to be too long. So, I mean, and there's not much else we can boost here now. There's no point destroying more reds. We're already destroying seven. I mean, there's likely not gonna be that many more than seven on the board anyway. So we'll try it like that. As far as uh, plates you could use for that, well, you have this one here, you could use a Twilight Ritual, which is when you break three red, you turn blues into purples. Other than that... There's the What's the Rock Cooking, that whenever you break three red, you get three purple. That would work as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. You don't really want to go with stuff that breaks the board, like the DX plate and stuff like that, because you don't want to break those botch gems that will remain there. Alright, let's try that. Okay, so we will go right away with the submission. I'm basically keeping the red as a backup to get some purple. Just set again. All right now we gotta pick one column now. The best I have is two, which is pretty minimal, unfortunately. And I don't have either a purple or a red match, which is what I was afraid was going to happen. Uh, definitely a plate would have helped in air for sure. Fortunately, the purple that appeared is also gone by now. We still have no purple or red. Can't really do anything right now. There is a red there. If I even survive this. I'm not getting out of that. Three. Yeah. I had a I had a feeling this moveset would be shit. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, look at a better version of this, I think. Alright, so that previous moveset was pretty bad. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to work that well, and it surely didn't. Maybe with proper plate and a lucky board and stuff like that, it's more viable. But even in the best condition, I don't think it's anywhere near optimal. So we're going to do a variation of that. Basically, we're replacing the move that destroy a column by the wind up punch, 
which is an 11 MP purple move. It's a finisher that deals 107.5k plus 23k bonus damage for every bot gem and pin the opponent, just like we tried in the earlier uh, move sets. So basically, we're going to rely on the leftover bot gems from the submission to uh, do the damage with the finisher. We are going to have Butch and, and Stillwoods there. Now, keep in mind, if you put some metals, like a good uh, purple metal, that finisher is going to hit for a lot more. And uh, the finisher plus the bonus damage, I mean, that's, that finisher is pretty good. So we're going to try this. We're probably, I'm pretty sure we're going to be short MP for the finisher, so we're probably going to need a purple match. Uh, again, I'd use the same plate I just suggested for the previous moveset. Alright, so we're gonna get the submission off right away. Taking care of the opponent on his next turn so that he doesn't get any move off. Hopefully we're gonna have a purple match that will remain. Or not. We don't have a purple match. Let me just make sure. Alright, so uh, we'll get our red hopefully get our submission or maybe it's gonna move things around and we'll have a purple match right, we do have a purple match now his MP is pretty low right now so I don't really need to use the submission right away so I'll take the purple while I can and while a lot of my boss gems are gone I do have my submission ready to get another batch of boss gems which you're better off to do before you do your finisher, even though I would still probably get about 500k damage if I were to do it right now anyway. But let's just do overkill instead. It's gonna take out his MP, so he's not gonna be able to do anything, and I'm pretty much bound to have more than I begin with anyway. move is already ready to get more red to get that fin that uh, submission again but there's no point this should end it four thirty four it actually did less than I thought it would but still more than enough than we needed and again this is without any coaches or anything but yeah, this is definitely a hell of a lot more viable than the third one we had a look at. But I don't think it's anywhere as good as the first or even the second one. First one was definitely my favorite. So that's pretty much it for, for Piper. Definitely curious to see how he does at four, at five star gold. I mean, maybe that uh, I haven't checked the move at five star gold, but maybe that column breaking one breaks the second one, maybe. I don't know. So maybe that move set might be more viable at five star gold. I guess we'll find out in a few days when I can test them at 5 star gold, so stay tuned for that preview. But in the meantime, that is it for Piper. I think he's a pretty good character, really. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so as well as clicking that little notification bell so you get those notifications when I post videos. If you have any questions, put them in comments. If you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. G up. Ciao.